Uh, my name is Mike Rumsey. I'm a mineral curator here at the museum, so it means I basically look after the whole collections and make sure everything runs smoothly. Well, we've discovered here, uh, potentially, kryptonite. Uh, this is maybe what you might think kryptonite is going to look like, but actually, it appears that this is maybe, possibly, kryptonite. It's called yadarite, scientifically. Um, but the whole kryptonite association comes from the fact that when we were studying the material, we knew what its chemistry was, and we entered its chemistry into Google to try and see if we had a match, or if anyone had actually made the substance before, if anyone knew of its existence, or if it was the first time it had been found. And the first match that came back from Google was a Wikipedia page on kryptonite. Of course, this is a little confusing, so we went to check it out and uh, found that in the Superman Returns movie of 2006, Lex Luthor steals a, uh, a, a rock fragment from a museum and it zooms in at the, uh, on the fragment and uh, it lists the chemistry of the mineral. And that happens to be exactly the same, or almost exactly the same as what we've found. Um, it was discovered by the uh, mining company Rio Tinto and they couldn't identify it quickly so they gave it to us to try and describe and see if it was a new species, a new mineral species. And it did actually, uh, after our test, showed that it was something new and something interesting. Scientists only discover about 30 or 40 new mineral species every year, so it's quite unusual to, to get new species anyway. A lot of people don't think that minerals are discovered or that rocks are, are anything new, but there is active research going on and new things are being found all the time. It's got a very interesting chemical formula. The mineral itself is a sodium lithium boron silicate hydroxide, which probably won't do Superman or us any harm whatsoever.